Odi Kudasai, Hard Off, Hard Off Hey everybody, HCK here. Today we're gonna go hard offing in Higashi Osawa, Japan. Let's see what they got inside. When you walk in, you're greeted by a wall of retro systems. Saturns, Famicoms, Dreamcast. I mean, it's hard to think of Dreamcast as retro, but it is now. Mega Drive, Super Famicoms. It seems like they got it all. But they also got this. That's a Capcom CP System 2 A board. You need that to play arcade games, like the Street Fighter Alpha series. Continuing on... This is F-Zero, expansion pack for the 64DD. Now it's supposed to come with the 64DD, but they didn't have one. There's Mighty Final Fight for the Famicom, Super Deformed beat em up. Up here is Puyo Puyon, which is Puyo Puyo 4 for the PlayStation. There's Power Instinct for the Super Famicom, and down here these are MSX and X6800 computer games. Real retro. You never see those. It just blew me away. And then these bins. Just full of good stuff. Overflowing. There's Final Fantasy V, the soundtrack. There was so much good stuff here, I, I didn't have enough money. Up here is a Famicom game. There's a PC Engine game. And above that are... Neo Geo MVS cartridges that are supposed to be used for Neo Geo arcade machines, not the home console. They don't work in them. So somebody here was obviously an arcade collector. That is so cool and so hard to find at used shops. Now going through the bins, we got Wonder Swan Games, Gunstar Heroes for the Game Gear, Yu Yu Hakusho for the Game Gear Sidearm Special. This is an X-rated Mahjong game for the Saturn. More Yu Yu Hakusho. Sega Mark III game there, Space Harrier. And Sailor Moon S for the Game Gear. Somebody dumped their Game Gear collection. It's the Rockman racing game. Of course, Rockman is Mega Man in the States. Over here, just more stuff. I can see that blue Famicom cartridge is Rygar. There's Super Castlevania 4, Metal Gear. I always wanted to play that. That's a platformer. There you go. Mega Man X2. And following that up, there's a Super Famicom memory cartridge for downloading Flash games to it. Flash cart. Over here, just more great stuff. The great thing about going into hard offs is you never know what you're going to find in these. It's like hunting for treasure. There's Mega Man 7 for the Super Famicom. Now, here is an X6800 game. This is Emerald Dragon. As you can see, as I open this, it's got a cool case for the discs in there. Underneath that, the instruction booklets and a map. When I open up this case, boom, discs. Now, I don't know what's on that disc. Could be a character disc. That says it's the Emerald Dragon demo on it. And then there are the actual game discs underneath that. So you're getting extra stuff when you're buying this used. This is their prestige case. Unbelievable prestige case. Neo Geo Pocket, you saw that game copier coming down here undercover cops that's a two hundred sixty dollar fam super famicom game soldier blade there's a a porno super famicom game the metal gear premium package just comes with oodles of stuff game and watches here's x6800 shooters thunder force 2 mad stalker Super Smash Brothers, how do you get in there? Contra, Contra is expensive in Japan. It's 8,000 yen. It's over 100 bucks. Nintendo 64 DD games. 
an original soundtrack for Link to the Past. There's a loose copy of Contra in there. Now here's their junk section. You can see a Neo Geo CD. That's an MSX1 computer right there. And just bins and bins of Sega software, PS2 software, random games. Let's take a look in the random games. These are MSX fan disk station games. Underneath that, PC Engine and Game Gear games. Dragon Slayer, F1 Pilot. You see a lot of Far East of Edens. A lot of those. More PC Engine games. Neo Geo CD games in there. Xbox, they're considered just junk in Japan. Over here, Saturn games. Mega CD game stuck in there. Some good, some good games in there. Dead or Alive, Godzilla, Street Fighter Zero. And over there, that's a Neo Geo cartridge. Samurai Showdown 4. So, what kind of stuff did I grab? Well, I got 15 different Disk Station MSX demo discs. These are pretty cool. They got previews of games, playable games, special artwork. It's got magazine features on it. It's a good glimpse into the gaming life of the mid to late 1980s. So that's pretty cool. And I got Wanderers from Ease, Ease 3 for the MSX, as well as Ease 2 for the MSX. And this is, Ease 3 is really cool because it comes with an Adol mouse pad. It comes with some cards you can give to your friends and do whatnot with. It's got catalogs in it. I mean, really cool stuff. Really, really awesome thing about these games from the 80s, though, is the care they put into doing things like instruction books. This is the instruction book. It's hard-covered, full-color. I mean, just absolutely great instructions. <laughs> it even has music at the end. So that's what I got. Unfortunately, unfortunately, these games are all on three and a half inch discs. And my MSX machine that can play three and a half inch discs is in the States right now, so I can't play any of these. But the good thing is, I was able to pick up this and this. Now, this is a Hudson B pack for the MSX, and this is a Hudson B card. They're not like regular ROM cartridges. They're not like your regular discs. They were special. Here's what a B card looks like. Does that look familiar to you? Now, you old timers and you retro gamers might uh, recognize this as the grandfather of what's in here. That is a Hue card. You see, Hue cards were what a PC Engine read. This was Hudson's sort of test run for Hue cards on the MSX. So this is the grandfather to the Hue card. In America, they're called turbo chips. So uh, since I have this and I have the B adapter that lets me play this in an MSX, I thought we'd give Adventure Island a try on my Panasonic MSX.